Authors in April is so excited to present our 2024 author for second and third grade, Kevin Sherry. Let's get to know Kevin Sherry and his books. Have you ever been to New Jersey? That's where Kevin grew up. Kevin moved to Baltimore, Maryland when he was 18 years old, and he has lived there ever since. He thinks cities are a cool representation of how humans can live and work and play together even when they are very different from each other. So now, Kevin and his wife Erin and their two cats, Ruby and Kinkos, all call Baltimore home. Do you like to eat sweet snacks? Kevin does, and he says that his favorite snack is gummy worms. I wonder if he likes sour or regular gummy worms better. Maybe we can ask him when he joins us here in Michigan. Kevin's favorite kind of game to play is role-playing games, like Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering. He's been playing since he was 13 years old. In fact, in spring 2024, he is releasing Scales and Tales, a role-playing game starter pack for all ages. He may even have been playtesting the game on some of the kids he knows. If you've never tried to play a role-playing game, maybe you'll have fun, just like these kids. Kevin also likes video games. In general, he loves Mario games, but right now he is very into the Zelda game Tears of the Kingdom. Do you know anyone else who likes that game? I bet you do. Kevin is very creative. When he visits schools to talk about books, he often brings along his guitar, or some puppets, or both. This puppet is bigger than his head. He also creates statues and makes all kinds of art prints. Kevin likes camping, but he does not prefer tents. So when he goes camping, he takes his little camper van on all his outdoor adventures. I wonder if any of those outdoor adventures were the inspiration for his series, The Yeti Files. In The Yeti Files number one, Meet the Big Feet, we meet Blizz Richards, who is a great guy, a caring boss, and a loyal friend. Oh yeah, he's also a Yeti. He made it his life's mission to study hidden animals who have taken a powerful oath to never be seen by the outside world. So when a photo of his cousin Brian becomes a media sensation, Brian can't handle the guilt and disappears. But it's time for the annual Bigfoot family reunion, and it won't be the same without him. Luckily, Blizz and his devoted team are on the case. Can they find their furry friend before their secret gets out for good? The adventures continue in the Yeti Files number 2, Monsters on the Run, with new characters like a Loch Ness monster, a time-traveling leprechaun, monstrously mean dinosaurs, and cute little kitties. Will Blizz be able to keep his team safe from all these monsters? Especially the kitties? I guess so, because the squad is back again in the Yeti Files number 3, Attack of the Kraken. In this book, Blizz and the gang will have to face man-eating sharks, powerful magic crystals, giant crabs, and find a long-lost hero in the furthest reaches of the deep. Some of those underwater creatures sound familiar from Kevin's other books, like the picture books, I'm the best artist in the ocean, I'm the biggest thing in the ocean, and Swallow the Leader and Kevin's graphic novel series, Squidding Around. In these easy to read and interesting to look at books, we meet Squizzard, a little squid with a big personality. He loves telling jokes, scarfing sardines, and hanging with his best friend, Toothy. But the thing he loves most is being in charge. When Squizzard makes up games, 
He is always the hero and Toothy is always the sidekick. He never listens or admits he's wrong and one day he pushes Toothy too far. Can Squizzard convince Toothy to give him a second chance? Or is he doomed to be the loneliest kid at Deep Reef Elementary? You'll have to read the book to find out. And when you do, you'll be so excited to get your tentacles on books two and three in the series, Class Clownfish and Prank You Very Much. Whichever book you choose, second and third graders, you are going to love reading books by Kevin Sherry. Here are some other fun facts about Kevin. When he was in high school, Kevin ran cross country, but now he likes biking instead. Even though he does not miss running himself, Kevin does love watching track and field competitions, especially the high jump. Kevin loves rats, and he used to keep pet rats, one rat at a time, and not anymore now that he has cats. His favorite rat was named Email, and he would eat Oreos and miso soup. If Kevin could choose any superpower, he would choose flying. What would you choose? Invisibility or super speed? Strength or stretchiness? When Kevin is here in April, you can tell him which power you chose and why. In the meantime, be sure to check out Kevin's website for more pictures and fun facts. As Authors in April prepares to welcome Kevin in April 2024, we hope that you dive in with squinting around and jump into the Yeti files with both big feet.